So, Chapter 3, The Forgotten Day. Choshiro Kirishima, a private detective, awakens. He finds himself in front of Hybera Hospital. Kirishima remembers that he was asked by Ruka's mother, Sayaka, to help Ruka, who has come to the island. Ten years ago, in the case of five girls being kidnapped on the island, he had rescued Ruka at her behest. Searching for Ruka, Kirishima stands before the hospital and sees the form of Yo Haibara, a murder suspect he'd been chasing on the mainland. Yo was the son of Shigeto Haibara, the director of Haibara Hospital, and a man of power on the island. Yo Haibara was clearly connected to the incident in which a group of girls were kidnapped and later discovered in the basement of the hospital. So there we go, the, the black-haired man, Yo Haibara was responsible for kidnapping the five girls. We don't know why he did it yet, we just know now that he did. However, at that time, Yohaibara couldn't be found, and so he escaped. After Kirishima left his job as a detective, he continued to chase Yohaibara. Oh, so Kirishima stopped being a detective, and I guess he switched to being a private eye or something. Um, and Yohaibara disappeared. We don't know where he went. There were clues um, to where he could have gone to, but uh, the characters haven't put it together yet. So maybe Ruka's also. Kirishima thinks that this is related to the kidnapping incident 10 years ago and returns to where he discovered the five girls, including Ruka. Chapter 7, Choshiro Kirishima, Without Suffering. Yeah, I'm hoping that this episode isn't too, too long, but it gives uh, it gives enough for like the, the YouTube video to be long enough. Uh, give some people some stuff to, to look at, depending on how long it takes me to do another episode. Ruka isn't here. Didn't the elevator bell go off? So I guess we're heading to the elevator bell, but not before. Oh, he also has a different uh, different thing on the screen for when he spots items. Is the texture mis missing, or is that what wa the reflection of the water is supposed to look like? This cassette is mine. Kirishima's investigation record four. There's Yo Hyper with a girl. It's Ruka. Okay. Uh, investigation four, it was. Media. Tapes. So that was just finding the kids. Yeah, I think um, a good what what might be smart for me to do next time is do each episode as a st each like chapter as a standalone episode. Um, the story I don't remember this being here, and it looks very old. Back when I found Ruka here, maybe I just didn't notice it. Oh, flowing water underground. That's always spoopy. Because remember, in order to go to the underworld, you have to pass over a body of water. And it's thought that that body of water is underground. Oh, and these sticks standing out here, you can barely see that they have writing on them. These are grave markers. Adding to the spoopiness uh, factor. Can I even get through here? The gap is too narrow. I think it might collapse if I try, so it's impossible to go through. Oh, 
Oh, there's an item though. A scribbled note. It looks like a will was placed here. I don't want to die here. I heard a legend about the coming of the day of s without suffering. A legend which says that those who hide here are the only ones that will survive. Someone performed it. The ceremony of passage. That, that woman has come. That woman's blooming. I saw her face warped, crushed, twisted, impure. I saw her face. Blooming face, warped, crushed, blooming, twisted, blooming, impure. It's the end. Blooming, blooming. Oh, it's it's a it's a it's aggressive. Gosh, in this teeny tiny space, I have to fight. Luckily, I don't have to wait for them to attack me using uh, Choshiro's weapon. I just have to wait until the the visible area is extremely small uh, and aim it at their faces. Okay, so that was fun. So it was it was a dead end. Uh, I'm not sure where to go next. Hopefully a ghost. Here we go. This leads to the doctor's office. He must be involved in the kidnappings. Uh, hello elevator. This one, I mean. Here we go. Uh, it's a lady, too. Ooh! Oh, I missed the one guy. I like that if you do it right, you can see that my spirit energy at the bottom left has still five swirly balls, which is good news. So I'll be able to do a super strong attack again next time. Um, um, uh, beginner mistake would be to continue to use the regular shots um, and to not use uh, these shots, uh, the, the powered up shots the right way trying to get like as many ghosts in the shot as you can all right the elevator says that this is where the plot continues <gasps> oh it's Tsubaki Tono this is a nice little uh I think this is the part where we get to learn about her um she is she's a good character I like her all right and there's some kind of item here I remember looking for this item before and it was like it was so frustrating like there we go grab this boom no i think you i think you meant what you meant you didn't have to correct it flat uh, you were not talking about a flashlight so uh open this door it looked like she was standing in front of this door um yeah let's let's investigate Ooh. Already something the camera wants to take a picture of. Let's read this chart though first. This is Tomoko Hinuma's chart. Is there some kind of connection with the corpse? Autopsy result. Name Tomoko Hinuma. Cause of death, drowning. Oh, we saw her earlier. It was a long time ago. But it was when Misaki first went into uh, Madoka's room. And there was that creepy girl with the wet hair. They came up like about to grab Misaki from behind. That's this lady, Tomoko Hinuma. She was discovered floating in the Rogetsu Hall pool by a nurse. She had already entered into cardiac arrest when she was discovered. 
On the night of the Kagura, there were reports of confusion at the time Tsubaki Tono fell unconscious. The Luna Sedata crisis began on the night of the Kagura. A scrawled note was found. It appears to be a suicide note. A typical example of returning to normal after losing oneself within the Kagura, traces of budding, the face was removed from the body. That's kind of a lot of confusing notes. In any case, we got a clue there that at the Kagura, something happened with Tsubaki Tono. What appears to be a corpse is covered by multiple pieces of cloth. Placed onto the face is the same type of mask that being found all around this building. The image of something appeared on the photo. I can explain this one without looking it up. Um, in this room, that specific tool was used explicitly to cut off a person's face after they died. We read a note earlier that one of the things that people do would do on this island in certain cases is slice off the face make a mask of the original face and then put the mask on the pers on the body. And so that's the situation we're seeing here. So we're not seeing, of course, um, under this sheet, but we can assume that underneath this sheet is a corpse whose face has been sliced off and um, the, a facsimile of their face has been placed on top of the sheet. Yo, Haibara. Oh, he's over here, and I missed him probably. Yeah. Oh well. Let me grab some of these other collectibles. Love to collect. I want this, and I want that, and I want whatever's in this bag. Ah! The bag is alive. There was a slip of paper in the garbage bag. Even though it was jiggling, I still decided to grab the paper. Notice, there are deficiencies in the records of the recent deaths. Regarding the designated records, incineration must be carried out immediately. Please use the incinerator in the backyard of the old building for this purpose. Something's reflecting light beside the garbage. It is the back door key. Now you might remember when we played one of our uh, episode two of Hoarders, we went into this room, but we couldn't get through the Silent Hill door. We'll now be able to get through it. This looks like a little memorial. Kirishima's Investigation Report 2. ま、
雨があった写真を撮っておく博多から本人と確認 So we learned a bunch of things in that, in that tape.、Uh, main points were、uh, Kirishima learns about the customs of cutting off people's faces and replacing them with masks when you die.、Um, but he also learned that during the Kagura, the building was locked. Yohaibara was probably there. And、uh, during the performance, the shrine maidens all suddenly died of a heart attack. Tsubaki Tono. Occupation She was a nurse at Rogetsu Hall. Death report. Performed as the Utsuwa of the Rogetsu Kagura dance. Collapsed during the middle of the dance, cause unknown. According to the testimonies, by the time the crowd had reached her, she was already dead. Autopsy results do not indicate any external injuries or diseases. There is a suspected heart attack, but this has not yet been confirmed as the cause. We cannot determine the condition of her face. The cause for this is unknown. Simultaneous deaths of the shrine maidens. Did the ceremony of passage impact the festival? Was it caused by the mask which was used? Usage of the masks has, been long, to, or has long been taboo. So there we learn a,、um, a big clue that the, during the Kagura, the six performers all died suddenly.、Um, We don't know why. A memorial tablet is enshrined in the small incense stand. There's a Tori gate embedded in the wall enshrining a mask. That's interesting. Alright, did anybody see Hotsuki dolls? I didn't hear any jingling jangling. Looking in the corners, looking underneath stuff. Up high. It's so hard to see in that mode. In the camera, it's not so bad, but his flashlight is ironically terrible at shining lights on things. No, I don't see any, but this is one of those places where it's like. I feel like it could be in here. But I would have heard jingling if I could have aimed at that one. Whoa! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Alright, I, I cheated him by walking so far through him that his animation couldn't hit me. Oh, I'm on the wrong mode. Yeah! I was in photo mode, which doesn't do any damage. Okay, so we gotta head back to the hoarder room. Which is. Oh. I didn't think I would have to go this way. Yeah, that's right. This game takes place in the year 1980.、Um, the kidnapping incident was 10 years ago in 1907. Oh, this feels like a Hotsuki place. Oh, was that one up there? Oh no. No. Oh, this area. Underneath the doctor's office. I gotta turn on the power? Oh. The camera will help. Or the. <laughs> Apparently, he can do hint photos too, even though it's a flashlight. Device somewhere. It's in a dark room, and some sort of electrical device is visible on the wall. I 
I don't have a lot of places I can go. So I'll just head back this way, I guess. Was there... In, in this room, was there anything like that? I don't even know what room this is. Oh, oh, I know. Let's go... I didn't go this way yet. Alright, and I'm allowed to go this way. So this will work. Oh, oh, upside down lady! Oh, we're gonna learn about this lady here. It is sad. I don't know where you are, I don't know what you are. And I can barely see because of the flashlight doing its thing. The hit point says it's right in front of me. I can't see anything. I'm worried it's going to attack from like the ceiling or the floor or something. There. Okay. I feel like that's not it. There's still something over there. I'm not gonna start charging up until I can get a get a look at it. Okay, it's, it's this it's this Islander lady. Okay. Meanwhile, there's some kind of peephole. It seems too rusted to open. This one's open. So take a look at this. This is some kind of a room. It looks like some kind of weird therapy or operating room. Um, where a person has been hung upside down. Um, people haven't been on this island in like 10 years. So it's safe to say that whoever this was died like this. Oh! There she is, she's on the ceiling. So, if you die in, in a place where ghosts are being made, and uh, you died while hanging upside down, you become an upside down ghost. Gosh, this place is creepy. I don't like this area. The first time I played through it, it was, through it was so scary to me. Construction Workers Journal. Our work was temporarily halted. Some of the tunnels known to be beneath the island were found, and this has stopped our expansion. When this hospital was first built, the director's office was put in the basement. What did the director think when they hit these when they hit these tunnels? On this island, being a culture or on this island, been a cultural taboo for a long time. Was it because of these tunnels? One of the tunnels I noticed that the moonlight was filtering through from, and then the writing on the page here was interrupted. Found some medicine. Any Hotsukis? Yeah, Hotsuki doll right there. But I already have that one. Uh, have you ever ha been hanging up? Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Um, have you ever had like been upside down for a long time? It's so uncomfortable. That's like a different Islander lady. Boom. 
I have no idea where I am. Ah, but this is what I was looking for. Oh. I turned on the switch on this really poor graphic. This, this ugly, ugly texture. Now I gotta figure out how to get the hell out of here. This is not a door. It looks like one, but it is not. Is that all there was to see? Just wants me to look in there. Oh. Oh, that's just the light. I thought it was a Hotsuki doll. Is this the exit? I think. Yes, because I was going to go that way, and the lady went this way. Right? No? Yes? Yes, this is right. Because now I can do this. And I'm free from this underground hell. Now I think my goal is to give... Oh no, that's right. I still got to go to the... Oh. Hi, Vera. He looked like a ghost, but when I saw him earlier, he definitely didn't look like one. Um, sometimes things become ghosts that are not dead people, like um, they just kind of become like memories that get replayed as shadows. Um, I'm not sure if that's the case here. Dr. Hybra's notes. The day of the Kagura nears, the Rogetsu Kagura dance will probably once again overflow with guests. Tourists are coming again. The Kagura dance spreads Rogetsu Island's name and has brought in revenue. Lately, preparations below have not been advancing. Yo has spoken to all of the Kanade, and the true mask of the lunar eclipse, Fatal Frame 4, is complete. We must resurrect the ceremony of passage. The mask of the lunar eclipse made the shrine maiden bloom, and she began to destroy the island. Assuming that the day without suffering had arrived, people feared and detested the ritual. But, as for the true mask of the lunar eclipse in the ceremony, for the Utsua, it may cure my daughter's illness. The mask of the lunar eclipse is my final move in treating Luna Sedata syndrome. In the Rogetsu Kagura, the Itsua loses her own sense of self within the mask, and the mask of the lunar eclipse erases all their memories. They are brought to that essential place. Once there, their self returns and floods into them. If the ceremony of passage is successful, the long battle with Luna Sedata syndrome will end. My wife thought the sickness of our daughter was her fault and took her own life. I have waited a long time from that day. Perhaps I won't have to look at my daughter's unhappy face anymore. The results of this research are dedicated to my late wife. So there we finally have a big breakthrough in the plot. We've learned that what the director was doing here the whole time was sort of avenging his wife's death, but also making her death meaningful. The uh, mother thought, his wife thought, that their daughter's Luna Sedana syndromes were the mother's fault, and so the mother killed herself. Ever since, the director of this hospital has been trying to cure his own daughter of her symptoms, trying a variety of things which we've seen throughout the course of this game. It seems that none of them were as effective, he thought, in theory, as the true mask of the lunar eclipse would be. He thought 
that if you put that on the Utsua and perform the Kagura, then what will happen is everyone who witnesses it, including the Luna Sedata Syndrome Luna Sedata Syndrome patients, they will all have their their memories, their souls or whatever, sucked out until there are blanks until they're like blank slates and be returned to the place where memories and souls come from. Once there, their souls and memories will be reunited with their with their complete the complete set of memories and then guided by the Utsua and the mask be returned to their bodies now whole. So it's almost like Luna Sedata syndrome, whatever it's caused by, makes people's memories leak back to the the the, the sea of the unconscious, the the pool where memories and souls are stored. And by sending the pieces that is still here on Earth to the other world, it will allow them to reconnect to the to the ones that are there and then pull all of them back and everyone will be simultaneously cured. Here's a letter from Soya Yamotsky. That's Ruka's dad. After a long time, I have finally completed the mask of the lunar eclipse. I poured my heart and soul into it, and I feel I gave my everything. My spirit is exhausted. I want to thank you for your help. Lost documents on the ceremony of passage were restored, and the techniques became clear. Above all, I studied the paints that are the key to the mysterious mask of the lunar eclipse and gathered all that were necessary. You will surely see the results you wished for at the ceremony and the true mask of the lunar eclipse complete. The true mask of the lunar eclipse is by no means the same as the abominable mask of legend, and it will not create the evil day without suffering. The catastrophe was caused because the mask of the lunar eclipse made by Soetsu was incomplete. Soetsu wrote that this mask will open the gate to the afterlife. Your implacability bore fruit. I must endeavor to protect the mask until the Rogetsu Kagura. I will not be present for the ceremony of passage, but I will be praying for its success. Soya Yomotsuki. So now we see how Ruka's dad connects to the plot. He was a mask maker, and in particular, he constructed the mask of the lunar eclipse that was to save everyone who had Luna Sedata. Uh, it didn't work out apparently because everyone is ghosts now. Uh, Ruka and, and her friends seem to be okay, at least for a little while, but their symptoms are coming back. They got 10 free years, but that was it. As planned, the next five patients related to the special examination have been arranged. Examination will take place in the director's office. The limited access is essential. Inpatients, room 310, Misaki Aso. Room 308, Ruka Yamotsuki. Room 203, Madaka Tsukimori. And our outpatients, Marie Shinomiya and Tomoe Nanamura. These five names should of course seem sound familiar. The three inpatients are the three girls that we've controlled in this game, and the outpatients were the two girls out of the five that died before the before the the game began. Uh, these five girls all together were the girls who were kidnapped. So the special examination schedule must have been a preliminary step in deciding to kidnap these girls. At the end, a hurriedly scribbled memo is attached. Today's choice for the Kagura's Kana Day was bad. Without them, it'll just be an ordinary festival. In previous ceremonies of passage, there was much scrutiny over the choice of Kana Day, a pure, obedient, sensitive maiden. The mask and the music easily devour these maidens. By nature, the festival decides a community's fate, and we must embrace the seriousness and responsibility of the ritual. We must have perfection in the selection, even if that means that there must be delays in choosing.
Ooh, a page. Okay. The assistants know. The lunar eclipse, the ceremony of passage, is nearing. The only tradition which remains from olden days is the form of the Rogetsu Kagura dance. The song pours forth from the unmasked kana, uh, from the masked Kanade. The souls of the dead enter the Utsua, the primordial dance that releases these. It is, is all called the Ceremony of Passage. The director said preparations have been made for the stage in the underground lunar hall. But the performing handmaidens, song, chimes, flute, drums, strings, are those five kanade the same? The dancer, is she really a vessel? And what about the Ceremony of Passage in the midst of the Rogetsu Kagura dance? I can't get rid of this anxiety I have. But I'm begging to become strongly. Dr I'm beginning to become strongly drawn to the ceremony of passage. It's because I saw the mask, the mask of the lunar eclipse. That mask, the soft smile on the brink of tears, the instant anger visible over facing death, the maniac feeling when seeing that mask. I want to see the dance using this mask. No, I even want to be in it myself. It's too late to turn back. So it seemed like even though the assistant had a lot of doubts about the the previous attempts to cure this disease, um, once he saw that mask, he's like, I am 100% on board with this plan. I know that it's not medically sound at all, but we're I, I'm totally in. <laughs> I don't know who that lady is. I'm sorry I had to blast you in the face though. So I think I'm going the right way. Oh, yes. That was my hint. And I'm going the right way. So a lot of these pictures that I'll be taking uh, in this section. Um, you got nurse before morgue, nurse patrolling sick rooms, beckoning nurse. Yo, hi, bro, doing books. And then I don't know what this one is. And then another beckoning nurse. Um, a lot of them are just me constantly looking for um, chasing after Tsubaki Tono. Um, she's also leading us, by the way, to the, the goal we've had since like the beginning of this chapter, which was to get back to that hoarding room now that we finally have the key to go through the back of it. So a fair amount of backtracking in this game. From chapter to chapter, you often uh, like explore the, the, the same areas again and again. Um, I remember in the third game the map was really helpful in that each time you started a chapter um, it would highlight the rooms that you visited just during that chapter um, and leave the rooms a little bit a little bit faded that you had not yet visited in that chapter so you would know if you had backtracked when you weren't supposed to. Alright, flying through. Here's some of that medical stuff that uh Yo had in that room. Ooh. Oh. Didn't work. I used the back door key though. And we'll finally see what's in this room. It leads 
outside. We haven't been outside in forever. Oh, and I sensed something just now, right here. It's directly behind me, right? I want, maybe if, oh, it's probably down there. Yeah, it's among the trash here. There it is. Something appeared in the photo. Um, I'll save you the trouble of looking at the, the note. Um, these bags are filled with human body parts. I know they look like just normal trash bags, but these are dead bodies. The discarded documents. Maybe not everything was burned. Um, but yeah, like a neat way of doing um, doing scary. Like they give you a hint about what's in the bags, but they don't like put it in your face. They kind of leave it to your imagination. Sometimes that's worse than actually seeing it. The film record of the Rogetsu Kagura must still be burned. No other record of the dance has ever been recorded or stored. But this film is strange. At first, I thought the film was damaged. However, I confirmed when I watched it one more time that I could clearly see a woman that I had not seen when I was there in person. She seemed to be dancing. I also saw the nurse mixing together somehow, but then I saw the woman much more clearly. Gradually, this woman fades in. When I realized what was occurring, I couldn't believe it myself. I refused to think about it. No more of this footage should be taken, even for verification. Already, I'm reluctant to be near this film. Without waiting for the director's instructions, I'll use the incinerator out back. And then I'll burn this note, so no one knows about it. There's a garbage bag inside. Can I examine again? I know there's something to see. Oh, okay, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't do it before. A bundle of half burned letters. These are these are addressed to me. Kirishima. It seems you've also come to this island for work. I've come to Rogetsu Island to focus on studying its society. The culture of this island is interesting. It really stands out with its originality. The purpose of my latest research is this island's mask. It's known that the mask is related to the island's religion. However, there are still many mysteries. This is the year of the Kagura dance, which occurs every decade. Many masks are made for the Kagura. If all goes well, perhaps I may be able to visit the actual place where the island's masks are made. I think I'm going to stay on this island for a while. Remember my little sister, Iori? She's also with me. I'm looking forward to this mysterious Kagura. It's completely adapted for tourists. Iori wants to meet you and have a drink together when you come to the island. It's unusual that the natives of this island don't traditionally consume large quantities of alcohol. Kusanagi University Assistant Professor Takashi Aiba. So this name uh, might sound familiar. Uh, Iori Aiba was the little girl with the long hair that looks like Sadako. Takeshi Aiba was her older brother who had um, issues with his eyes. We've blasted him in his good eye a few times because we've fought both of them as ghosts. So it appears that that guy who I thought was more of a kid was actually a university assistant professor. Um, it seems that they only came to this island for the sake of the of the seeing the the Kagura and learning about the culture here and apparently they both got developed Luna Sedata while they were here first of all the Kagura mask is the part of the ceremony believed to represent God traditionally the form of the God for the coming years unified with current God, with the current God during the Kagura dance However, Rogetsu Island's mask is not the face of a god. 
First of all, this island does not believe in a god. Recently it became known as the Rogatsukagura Dance. However, it was formerly known as the Ceremony of Passage. The name takes its meaning from an old word which talks of the return of the dead. To think that since masks are put on the faces of the dead, the island's mask perhaps imitates the dead? Covering the faces of the dead with masks, dancing? These customs are rarely ever seen. The mask is the form of death on this island? Or perhaps in the form of the dead? If you imagine an unchanging dead face, could this eternal face be the true representation of the island's mask? Do the mask used in the ceremony of passage have some kind of unique role in the ritual? That is the mask worn by the Itsua. The Itsua's mask was made before all the other Kagura masks, and the other Kagura masks have different origins. Even among those, I was struck by the prominent presence of the imitation of the lunar eclipse made by Soetsu Yomotsuki, the mask of the lunar eclipse. However, the island fell into ruin when the shrine maiden wearing the mask of the lunar eclipse bloomed. After this, its existence became taboo on the island, and even mentioning it is frowned upon. The mask-making techniques of Soetsu's era were lost as a result of the disaster that once occurred. However, other than that, we know nothing of the jet black mask. Now, Soetsu is trying to revive the advanced mask-making techniques of Soetsu's era, just maybe a part of the mask of the lunar eclipse. I was told that my sister has a mild case of Luna Sedata. After watching the Rogetsu Kagura, she might get better. Even so, she'll briefly be hospitalized here. Extended hospitalization was discussed, but only as an extreme and unlikely option. I'll continue to research the masks. I did come to the island to visit, but the black mask. At the time when the dead return, the dead are all the same formless spirits. I cannot imagine the purpose of this mask. What sort of ritual is it that suggests summoning spirits back from death? Its peaceful smile is like a Buddha statue. However, the Buddha statues do not share the primitive sense of emptiness in this mask. I believed before that they were speaking of death with this mask, but now? It may be that it isn't death, but something else. When I see it, it drags me into the bottom of a deep nothingness. A feeling of dreadful relief floods into me. It's so beautiful. Mask of the lunar eclipse. Even though my eyes were crushed, I still looked. I saw it. It's beautiful. Well, looks like Tsubaki's still leading us on. We're going way out into nature now. There it is. Yoink! <laughs> Crystal's got stuck in the tree somehow. <laughs> oh, here she is again. She loves this. She's like, just take a million pictures of me. I want to be the girlfriend in all the photos. Oh, all these Tory gates, sacred paper. We must be going to a really important place. And there are grave markers everywhere, too. And it all leads to a mass grave. Oh, well, it's kind of funny. I can see through <laughs> one of the textures here. You can see that there's not there's not um, anything under these things. It's just the 
<laughs> just they built the they the programmers made the ground first, and then just stacked some of these things, but they didn't stack them perfectly. <laughs> All right, Tsubaki, I made it all the way out here. What is that? The grave. Tsubaki Tono's diary. I came to this island upon uncle's recommendation. Although I was scared at first, I'm very grateful now. The people at the hospital and the islanders are very kind and have taught me all kinds of things. This year, a festival done once every decade called the Rogetsu Kagura will be held. The role of the Otsua Maiden is to dance in the ceremony, seemingly lifted up by God in the dance. And I was a little surprised to find out that the Islanders had recommended me. Still, the role of the Otsua has a rich and beautiful feeling to it. And it was just right for a person around my age, so... I decided to accept. To be able to participate in this island's ancient festival is a great honor. And best of all, I think it'll be a wonderful opportunity to convey my gratitude. It seems that from now on, I'll need to undergo some sort of purification training involving masks. This role is my duty. So Tsubaki's from the mainland too, and she moved here because her uncle thought it would be fun. And when they, when the director and his son organized the uh, the Kagura, they asked Tsubaki to be the Utsua, and we already know what happened to her. Oh, that was her standing right next to me. I guess, I guess, I don't know. Maybe I'm not er ever able to take a picture of her. But that was neat. That was her dressed as the, uh, as the Utsua in the Utsua costume. all the graves here were of these different ghosts who uh, were people who had been experimented on. And uh, and now that they've caught wind of me, uh, they're, they're taking out their, their vengeance on me. Please let the door just open. Alright, the sound of the ghost went away, so I think I'm safe. They knew I was going to go on, go through a door, and they're like, whatever. Okay. So, I'm not sure what clues we have right now. Uh... We know that the Kagura occurred, and that the six people died, including Tsubaki Tono. Um, what doesn't make sense, though, is if the five girls died, and they're dressed like... Um, 
Guy in the sink. Oh, this is really fucked up. Um, we looked at this sink earlier, um, and all it says is water is accumulated in the sink. Something like red oil has floated up to the water surface and formed a, f uh, a film. Uh, the implication here is that that guy's body was dissolved in this sink after they experimented on him. So some really horrible things. And I get that, like, they were just trying to find a cure for this disease that was killing everyone on the island. Um, but how far is too far? It's, uh, it's messed up. Uh, so as I was saying though, we found uh, the thing that doesn't make sense to me right now is the five girls survived for 10 years after being being picked, uh, found from being kidnapped. So, how do they also die of a heart attack? Oh, and let's see if my speaker works for this now. says it's better not to remember and then leads me up the stairs he went this way and we already know this door I do know that like in the up until the 70s, so in the decades leading up to that, um, psychiatry was really screwed up with all the different experiments that, that psychiatrists performed, or uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, you know, that, that group performed on people, like in, including things like lobotomies. Like if you had a wife who was unhappy, they'd be like, oh, well, she probably just needs to have this part of her brain removed, and then she'll be fine. And it's like, how messed up is that? It's so disturbing. So, Choshiro now has come back to Rogetsu Hall. He finished with his part in the hospital. And now he's over here. It looks like they want him to take the elevator. Up to floor three, maybe? I don't know if this is right. I didn't see a ghost leading me this way. But we seem to keep going up to floor three. If it's not for floor three, I have a I have a guess as to where I need to go. Yeah, I'm not feeling any clues here. Let's go back to uh, floor two, because I have a theory about floor two. Because um, the clue right now is that High Bar went this way. So we're going to try to spot him. There he is. So remember this door? The walls divided into sections. I tried pushing it, but it wouldn't budge. But we know how to get into this room. It's through Ayako's room. So now the big question becomes, who is Ayako? Why? We, we, we read in one of the first notes that she was like one of the director's special projects. Um, but she didn't come with a last name. And we were told to pay extra special um, attention to her, give her extra care. Um, and she was a mess. Um, and now Yo Hybra has some connection to her room. We saw the medical supplies in that little room off of Ayako's room. 
So that must mean, and we saw one of his journals in there. So that must mean maybe during the time when he was, when he was staying here, or the time when he was in hiding when Shoshiro was looking for him, that that's where he that's where he worked or or hid, hung out until the heat was off. Can you believe all the characters have been in this room now? I wonder if I have to fight her as this guy. No, you're going to let me just pass right through Ayako? Maybe she's still weak from the other girls messing her up so many times. Now, this guy doesn't have really big heels on. He does have a little bit of lift. Um, I don't know how much that helps when you're fighting ghosts. Another one of Yo's notebooks. I came to the island after, take, after a long time and still nothing's changed. It's as if time has stopped on this island. My sister is unchanged. She remains a little girl. When my sister is calm, the air around her becomes more transparent and purer than before. Maybe she's just more cooperative than she was in the first place. Nevertheless, father says there's no choice. We will see if the day of the Rogetsu Kagura has an effect on my sister's symptoms. Even if it causes my sister to become sick, the ritual must be performed again, and the role of the Utsua must once again be served. We must attempt the ceremony of passage. The current tourist festival is useless. I have to revive the most primordial Kagura, the ceremony of passage. I can hear the raised voice of a nurse in the room on the other side. A lone girl is crying. It sounds like you, Ayako. In a chat with my father, he said, he said, um, Ayako something something excessive mischief. Interesting. You know how to have fun, Ayako. Your way of handling toys is interesting. To keep living honestly on this old-fashioned island, having fun is the most important thing. So he does have some connection to Ayako. Uh, we'll learn a little bit more soon. And I'll fill in the gaps when uh when it's time. A sturdy wooden box is locked. Is there is there this to do? No? Yes. I feel like I'm missing Missing something. Ugh, I don't want to leave this room just yet if there's still stuff in here, though. But where? I felt like there was supposed to be something on the floor over here, but there really isn't. It's just this. It's just this box. Maybe if I leave the room, I'll get uh, a vision of where to go and I can get this key. Yeah. Wasn't the elevator here before? Oh, I know what I can do. I think I found in the garbage... Ooh, and there's something over here. Maybe it's upstairs. Um, I got a projector film. That might be um, a clue that I can work on. Maybe it'll give me the key that I need. A single crystal. What a waste. All right, the dining room is right down here, so it's very close. Oh, there seems to be another item down here.
this one. I should be a dumb ghost hand. Oh, it's red crystals. That's nice. Alright, this is the dining room right here. It's got the projector in it. I don't have to play the piano because Choshiro doesn't know how, how cameras work. His special skills are the flashlight and the notebook. Um, I think it's kind of interesting to think of like what special characteristics the different characters have in games like this. Um... Um, Ruka's thing is that she can play the piano and I cannot see what this is trying to get me to look at I feel like it's right here it's in this pot no it's more over here there it is um, Misaki has a sixth sense not that she really makes use of it in the game uh, but one of the things that she does more than the others, I guess, is she gets more flashbacks. But Ruka gets a fair share of flashbacks. Even Choshua gets a bunch of flashbacks. I'm guessing, oh, maybe it's just the projector it wants me to touch. Here we go. So there we finally saw the Kagura in action. And we witnessed Tsubaki Tono as the, as the Utsuwa, the dancer, and the five shrine maidens that were with her pass away. Um, one thing that I noticed that was different was they, those were not the same costumes that, that, the, uh, that the kidnapped girls were wearing. They were wearing like a, a brownish, reddish thing, whereas those girls are dressed like Miko with the, with the white, white sleeves. So there's an oil painting in the fireplace, about half of it's burnt. And there's a cassette tape for Investigation 3.
重度の月遊病らしく灰原について聞いてもおそらく無駄だろうしかも今は昏睡状態ということだ Um, I agree with you that、uh, hearing the tapes in these horror games is awesome. My favorite one is in Fatal Frame 3. And the reason that I like it so much is because I, I kind of told you what, what the plot is basically about in that game. About a.、Um, oops, a photographer who loses her boyfriend and then dreams about a building where she can meet with him. Um, the, uh, the dream is like a curse, though. And、uh, the, more you, the more you dream it, the longer you dream for. And the, the more terrible things that you dream of.、Uh, and it's hard to do any kind of investigation about it because you can't just go and visit it during the day. Because it doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore.、Um, the place that it was like, that the dream is kind of modeled after.、Um, you meet a character early on in your dream and then find out that she's a real person. And you go to visit her and she, she dies right in front of your eyes.、Uh, it's the writer's way of showing that. The, the stakes are high. This is what's going to happen to you、um, now that you're having these dreams. You are doomed.、Um, and it feels kind of, kind, of surre- kind of surreal and like hard to believe. Like maybe, maybe this isn't really going to happen like the, for me the way it did for her. And then you get this tape of this woman. Who's describing the exact same dream that you've been having? And the tape is from decades ago. Oh, actually, I don't need to go this way.、Uh, well, it's fine.、Um, I think that tape just, it really.、Uh, It's really stuck to me. That, that,、uh, that feeling of I'm in this brand new situation and no one can understand what I'm going through. I think this is the wrong way.、Um, and it turns into oh my god, this is not a unique experience. This has been going on for hundreds of years. I'm having a, I'm having a hard time.、Uh, let me go back to where I know. Because I've got to go to. They want me to go to the artist's room. That's the goal. And I think that once I get there, that's the end of this chapter. And I can put an end to today's stream.、And、then we'll see if it actually does all the things it's supposed to do. And I wonder how much editing I'll be. Like, I wonder if there are any editing tools right in Twitch. Like, I would like to edit out that one part where I was struggling with trying to play the piano. Oh, Tsubaki. All right, because she has a connection to the third floor also.
she was the nurse for uh, the artist that was painting the strange paintings that relate to a woman who destroys the world. No elevator music. Gosh, I didn't realize how much you show up in this chapter. <laughs> this cabinet has so many treasures in it. The third floor nurse's log. There's one issue to report about a patient. Recently I've observed a significant change in the condition of Magaki from room 309. Problematic behavior has increased. For example, he grins as if obsessed by something and sometimes suddenly cries out in a loud voice. Yesterday after lights out, he suddenly started to scream. So I ran to him. And when I got there, he turned to me, grabbed me, and started to shout strange words at me like eradication and destruction. Furthermore, there have been dramatic changes in the pictures he draws. He keeps drawing this sinister-looking woman, and there's no doubt that this woman is the patient from the isolation ward. Why is Magiki drawing pictures of this woman? To me, it seems like an omen for that person without a face to awaken. goodies in here. Let's go see this artist's paintings and see see them again really. Ruka didn't really uh, interact with them. Oh, somebody's calling. I guess it's nothing. the eerie lighting. Can I go in this way? I guess not. We'll go in his other door, his main door. That doesn't work either. Maybe they wanted me to check out those, uh, those buttons, those calls. Mm, nope. Maybe I can check out the uh, the other rooms. I think I need to go on this one. But I'll pop into Ruka's room just to, just to see. Oh, there is something in here. Not sure what it could be. <laughs> oh, ghost hand. <laughs> what a waste. Oh! Here we go, Sayaka Vision. She said something about Ruka, but I couldn't make it out. 
And there's something... There we go. Picture of the former hospital. And Sayaka's fourth diary. Soya's obsession has engulfed him. I can't understand. What idea is it that drives him in Hybera this way? If Ruka isn't treated quickly, it seems that she doesn't ask about the island, but about some place far away. After this, however, it may be impossible to help Ruka. Soya, I'm sorry. I'm worried about you, but it may not be possible to save you. I think... I will leave this island soon. So I guess he didn't really tell her what he was working on or why. That it was a a mask whose solution would be to cure Ruka possibly. He was about to blind me, so I let go early. It happened to me enough to kill him. And he left me a small key. I have no idea what this key goes to. Um... There was that box in Yo's room, but there's no... Oh, there we go. Do this now. And with him going this way, that could mean that this door is now open. Let me try again. No, it's not. Uh, let's try his other door. Now this one's open. Okay. Lots of handprints on the floor. Very colorful. Oh, it was just a it was just a figment of my imagination. No, it's back. And I think he's a mostly on the floor ghost. Oh, I thought I saw his hit points for a second. Oh, he's creeping me out. He's not done yet. I saw him for like a sec, and I don't see him anymore. But look at how bright that changed my retina. Hello, ghosts. It's super creepy out here. Where are you? There you are. Picture is painted on the floor.
All right, that wraps up that chapter. Not a moment too soon. It was a